Okay, everyone, here it is, the moment you've been waiting for. More 80s and 90s non-sports cards. I know. I'm just going to do it. Um, yep, from time to time, I like to do some stuff that's non-Magic the Gathering. And this kind of craziness is interesting to me, so... Thanks for watching. Let's start with this Batman Returns. It's got eight cards and a Batman Returns Stadium Club card. So that's like super premium. It's probably worth a lot of money. Let's check it out. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. So you can tell this was like the same kind of card stock and style that was used in like Stadium Club tops. Baseball cards from the early 90s. Yep, 92 right there. Let's see, and as always with these movie cards, it's just like a still from the movie. Um, there's a taxi cab flipping over. Super exciting. This was probably um, exciting. Yeah, introducing the bat missile. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so there's that one. And the penguins are on the march. Sure. Yeah, so Batman Returns was the penguin. The Penguin Commando Army. No escape for Max Shrek, I think, played by Christopher Walken. Yep, Max. There we go. Yeah, these are kind of like... They're not even good, like, compositions of this, the film, right? You'd want to see Batman and the Penguin, like, up close. No, that's like a really wide shot. I don't know. There's the Batmobile. Super cool. Bruce Wayne, Cobblepot, yeah, the villains of the piece, yeah, the, the original Batman movie, of course, was much better, but this was still an okay movie, but yeah, like, the pictures are bad, they're just like, a uh, scene of the mayor talking, and like, everybody on stage doesn't make a good card, I gotta say, so, Disappointed, like a 2 out of 10 for the Batman Returns pack. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try the Gremlins too. Maybe we'll get lucky with these. Here we grow again. And uh, again, this one's got bubblegum in it, which I have learned my lesson before. Actually, here's the ingredients for the, the gum. Dextrose, corn syrup, gum base, softeners, and some flavors. And BHT to maintain freshness. Well, it could not maintain that freshness for 30 years. I guarantee it. Um, I have tried gum out of these in the past. And will not do so now because, as you can tell, it is fossilized. So, there we go. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I ever saw Gremlins 2. Or if I did, I don't remember it very well. It's George the Mogwai. Oh yeah, there's Mohawk. He's probably like the big bad guy of the film, right? Talk about your worst nightmare. Yeah, totally. And, uh, oh yeah, they give, was that Leonard Moulton? A thumbs down? Yeah, sure enough. The Gremlins got Leonard Moulton. Brainy Reflections. Nice. Who's Clamp and why does he discover Billy? I'm sure that means something from the movie, but. Oh, yeah, it's Mohawk before he turned into an actual gremlin, right? I forget the rules of the gremlins, right? Do they, if they eat after midnight, then they turn into this? Or what happens when you dunk them in water? There's something about that. They like multiply. Is that what it is? Whooping it up. Futterman to the rescue. Yeah, good old Futterman. I have no idea who that is. And that was uh, Gizmo, the, the lovable gremlin. There it is, Gremlins 2. And there they go. Next up, we got the Rocketeer. It's got a sticker instead of bubblegum. See, I think like at a certain point, this is Tops. I think they discovered that gum is just a bad idea. And it is. And so they stopped putting gum in these. Wow, they changed the packaging too. Oh, and again, with puzzles. Like they would put puzzles on the back of the stickers, just like these Garbageville kids always had. The Rocketeer as a sticker. 
and a puzzle on the back. And Ambrose PV Peabody, played by, oh, I know that actor's name, but I can't remember it. Um, tell me down below if you remember him. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, under police protection. This is the most exciting part of the movie, right? Someone in the hospital? I don't remember that. I think I've seen this movie like once. The feds, there's the rocketeer with his cool helmet. It's kind of a cool movie, I remember. I think Jennifer Connelly is in it. Maybe we'll get a picture of her. At Griffith Observatory. <laughs> so memorable. The feds again. Fill in the pond. Yeah. Makeshift plan. Billy Campbell, I think is that guy's name. Fact check me on that. There we go. And on to Garbage Pail Kids, my favorite. I think I only was collecting in the third and fourth series, so... These fist series might be kind of new to me. Which, that's exciting. Oh gosh, look at this gum. Oh, it's terrible. You hear that? It sounds like a like fine china clinking together. Yuck. Yeah, that was that was no good. All right, we got necktie number 181B, and again, there's stickers, and on the back is some goofy stuff like this. TV Stevie and all of his issues that he has. Got Juicy Lucy. She's in a blender. Terrible. This is up Chuck. Yeah. So there's like stats about some of the earlier ones. Mel Meal. I think I remember this one. Maybe I was getting some of the Fist series back then. Ginger Snapped. And Gourmet. Yeah, I think I remember this one too, so maybe I did have fifth series at one point, so there we go, Garbage Pail Kids. Next pack, this is a weird one, Crime and Punishment, Nine Sensational Trials That Shocked the Nation. So someone made cards out of uh, Charlie Manson, right? Yeah, that's who that is. Um, you can send away for the three ring binder, Crime and Punishment binder with collector sheets. Bizarre from Eclipse Enterprises. All right, let's see. Oh, God, so like courtroom drawings. The trial of Wayne Williams, you know, that sensational trial. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of reading about some pretty terrible stuff about some case that happened. When was this? Uh,. The car was in 1992, but it doesn't tell you like when was this case. I mean, judging by the guy's hair, I'd have to say it was 1967. And uh, the trial of Patty Hearst. Well, I've heard of Patty Hearst at least. So this would probably be kind of interesting to read all of this. <laughs> the Symbionese Liberation Army, sure. Excitement. Okay. I, I can't believe some of the cars that they made back then and thought people were going to buy them. Oh, God, there's the Manson girls. The Trial of William and Emily Harris. Gosh, what did they do? I don't want to read all this right now. K kidnapping Patty Hart. Oh, Patty Hearst. Yeah, okay. This is so crazy. Yep, Trial of Charles Manson. The X is on their head. So bizarre. Yeah, the whole bunch of information. The infamous, the trial of Lynette Squeaky Fromm. So yeah, this is from the Patty Hearst case, right? So crazy. Or no, I, I don't know what that was from. Something about President Ford. Yeah, the trial of Sarah Jane Moore. All this stuff is from like the 70s. Weird. Squeaky Fromm again, Patty Hearst. There are all these like crime, tr crime drama drawings. Terrible. Patty Hearst and her gun. So weird. Okay, well, that was crime and punishment cards that every kid was clamoring for back in 1992. And then this is probably what they really wanted was Ninja Turtles. It's got movie photo cards and one sticker. I'll bet it's got a puzzle on the back. And no gum, thankfully. There's April O'Neil. 
and she's holding a sigh. Movie sticker. Collect all 11. So no puzzle. Just a, a, a call to action. Collect them. Outwitted by Splinter. The shredder explodes. And then, oh, the story is continued on card number 117. So you have to find that one and get the whole story. Time to go back, says, is that Michelangelo? Because he's got a yellow. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I was a fan of the Ninja Turtles cartoon, I'd say. The movie, you know, the suits didn't look that great. So I don't think I was really that into it. And again, still photos from the movie. <laughs> Look, what is this? Is that the back of Shredder's head? You're kidding me, right? I would feel so cheated. I guess I do currently feel cheated that I'm opening this pack of cards. And I get a card with a picture of the back of Shredder's head and just some random thug getting talked to. <laughs> That's so funny. Wow, super low effort here. Okay, great. Yeah, he's on a motorcycle or something. The Master Splinter and the Shredder. He looks like a bad Power Rangers villain for sure. So funny. Okay, well, if you're still here watching, you're a diehard fan of mine, so I appreciate it. Let's look at these Looney Tunes. This is like Upper Deck packaging. I used to buy ba Upper Deck Baseball back in the early 90s. Yeah, this was the same packaging. I remember this like it was hard to get into even then and I remember them kind of like feeling like premium cards a little haul oh yeah check this out here we go a Daffy Duck hologram card hey I kind of like that yeah I would have been totally stoked to have this back then it totally like moves it's hard to see in the camera I'm sure lots of keeper right there and then a silhouette of I guess Daffy Duck and someone else so which one's the front, which one's the back? Okay, this is the front. Or is it? I don't know. They're like double-sided. Marvin the Martian. So they're like double-sided. Because there's no stats for cartoons, right? Interesting. I think I like these better than the movie ones. Because... Actually kind of better composition. <laughs> Alright, so Sylvester actually has some stats. He was drafted by the Oakland A's. But it's got a Baltimore Orioles logo on it. So funny. Beep beep. That's funny. Bunt. Sylvester Cat. Too funny you guys. Coyote's a catcher. Is this just like one episode of Looney Tunes and they turned a whole like card set into it? I kind of feel like this was. That's a duplicate. There's a fastball. I don't know who that is. Alright, well, there you go. Looney Tunes. One pack left. Really taking my sweet time with this, apparently. We got Desert Storm. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a flag of the USSR as a sticker. That's quite a throwback there. When were these from? 1991? Right before the fall of the Berlin Wall. And there's a Russian flag from the time. That's kind of cool. And a picture of some barbed wire. Right. And some terms. Military terms. There's an LVTP. Sure, you know those. It goes on the beach. Landing vehicle tracked personnel. Unit sizes. A man, look at that lightning. That just it's exciting to be in the army, right? I'm sure it's um, not quite like that. Hawk missiles. They look awesome. The KC-10, the flying gas can. Like a refilling plane the m60s reactive armor you can really see it in action there in that picture desert storm slang we got to know this right big red is the desert sun 
A bird is a helicopter. A chocolate chip is U.S. desert uniform camouflage, right? S smoke them to reach a destination quickly, right? Allied forces, right? Very interesting. Okay, well, thanks for joining me on this exciting ride. Um, appreciate you watching if you're still here. Anyway, uh, catch you on the next one.